Hi guys, um, as you saw in my last video, I'm going to be making videos now. Uh, and you're gonna have to bear with me because if you saw my last video, it was vertical, not horizontal. So this will be a learning process and um, a journey for me that I am inviting you to come along side, come along with me and learn with me and bear with me. And I thank you in advance for all your grace. Um, because I need it. <laughs> so the first topic that I want to dive into is something that God has put on my heart and my mind and it's been about over a month now that um, this message has been in my heart and life just gets in the way. So this is exactly why I'm making videos so that I can get these things out uh, quicker and share what I believe God has um, put on my heart to share. So the first topic is the idea of loneliness. Um, and loneliness by definition is affected with, characterized by, or causing a depressing feeling of being alone, lonesome. Um, and that is different than being isolated. I have experienced isolation in my life before where I don't have a support system or a community of believers around me and I feel isolated, but I don't feel alone or lonesome um, because I have Jesus, I have God. And so I don't understand loneliness. And the reason I'm diving into this topic is because in ministry, there are people, I'm finding out people come to me and say, I'm struggling with this sin cycle. I'm struggling with this thing in my life because I'm lonely. I'm struggling with overeating and food addiction. I'm struggling with porn and I'm struggling with that wrong relationship because I'm lonely. Um, and that isn't something I understand. So loneliness um i i went to god and i said lord i don't understand loneliness we have you we have you jesus why are people lonely and i believe he said they desire to be fully known people have a desire to be fully known and i said okay great we're fully known by you god why are people lonely i don't understand the loneliness i uh, i mean to be honest i feel like there's no good reason as a believer um, that you ever should be lonely. Um, and this video is directed just as a disclaimer to believers, to people who claim that they know the Lord Jesus Christ as their savior, their personal savior, and they are in relationship with him. That is who this video is geared towards. Um, so I don't, I, I said, God, I don't understand loneliness and uh, we're fully known by you, so why are people lonely? I, I don't get it. And he said, they don't invest in relationship with me or the things of me. So people don't invest in relationship with God or the things of God. And because of that, they don't experience being known by God, being fully known by God and fully loved because they don't invest in relationship with him. Don't invest your time in the things of God. Don't invest your money in the things of God. Don't invest your entertainment choices in the things of God. Don't invest your emotions in the things of God or in relationship with God. Um, instead of spending time in prayer and worship and uh, thinking on whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, whatever is excellent, whatever is praiseworthy. Instead, you're turning to that TV show or Instagram or Facebook or friends and you're not fully known by God. You, I mean, because in these relationships, I mean, we aren't really fully known. Um, it takes someone really persevering and pressing in to fully know us and and love us um but we're fully known and fully loved by god and the thing is he already knows all your thoughts he already knows the motives and intentions of your heart he already knows all these things these are no surprise or shock to him but because you hide them 
from yourself, you're self-deceived because in part we don't want to admit our sin and uh, acknowledge that it's there because it's ugly. Um, or we don't want to bring it to God. We hide it. We hide it from him. And in doing that, we aren't fully known. You don't experience being fully known because you're hiding from God and you only bring him the good parts of you. You only bring him the, the parts that are cleaned up or um, the good parts, the religious parts, the moral parts um, and all the sin and the shame you hide. And real intimacy happens when you're vulnerable and honest. That is the only time that there's real intimacy. It's true in relationship here on earth with other human beings. To have an intimate relationship, you have to be vulnerable and you have to be honest. The same is true of God. If you want a real intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, you have to be vulnerable and you have to be honest. You have to come as you are. You have to say, Jesus, here I am. Here I am. I can't clean myself up for you. Here's my my addiction. Here's my um, my bad my bad habit of cursing. I can't seem to stop cursing. I can't seem to stop smoking. I can't seem to stop drinking. God, I need your help. I don't want to be stuck in my sin. God, I want to change my mind. I repent. I, I change my mind and turn direction away from my sin. Jesus, come and come and help me in my sin. Um, because that's what repent means. It means to change your mind, to change direction. And so people don't experience being fully known by God because they don't bring their ugliness to him. They're, they People try and clean themselves up for God. I tried to clean myself up for God for years um, before I came to him in a, a humble mess and pile and said, here's all my trash. Um, I have nothing else to give you, God, but my trash and myself. And he gave me life and he gave me grace and he gave me peace and he gave me joy. And I know that I'm fully known by God. And I'm still loved by him and accepted by him. And the only way you can ever figure that out is if you give him all of you, if you reveal all of you, if you trust all in trust, if you trust God, with all of yourself, all of your heart, all of your thoughts, all of your emotions, the good ones and the bad ones. Once you give it all to him and you realize he is a gracious and loving God who knows you and longs to forgive you, then, then you can experience being fully known by him and fully loved by him. The only thing that it requires on our part is a desire to turn away from our sin, a desire to be free from our sin. We can't come to Jesus as we are and say, love me, this is how I am and I'm not changing. God loves you too much to leave you in your sin. He desires to transform you. God is more committed to conforming you to the image of his son than you are. He is more committed to your sanctification in Jesus Christ than you are. So to come to God as you are is, is coming with all your sin, coming with all your shame, but being ready and willing to change, desiring to change. Um, and it's only by the power of God and the grace of God through the Holy Spirit that change and transformation happens. You cannot in your own strength and in your own will transform and change yourself. Um, it is God who works in you. It is God who changes you. So I believe that God wants me to share with you today um, that you don't have to be alone. You don't ever have to be alone because you're fully known by him. Invest in the things of him. Invest in relationship with him. And when I say that, invest, it doesn't look like rigid Bible reading and um, dry prayer. What it looks like is a turning of your whole life toward him. When you're doing the dishes, put worship music on. When you're in the shower, listen to the Bible app. When you're um, walking 
instead of thinking about yourself, ask God what he wants you to think about. Instead of thinking about your problems, take them to him. Just think it, just turn to him. It just takes a turning to him, a turning away from sin and to God. To invest in the things of God is to cut out, to, t to invest in the things of God is to take what you have and stop investing it in the wrong TV shows, too much time on social media, and too much emotion in waste in poor um, relationships. It looks like taking your resources, what you have, and investing them in God, in time with Him, in um, the things of Him, in in Him, in relationship with Him, and relationship with God is his in it's the greatest return you could possibly have it's the greatest return you could possibly have it's it's an inexplic inexplicable return of your investment it is so worth your time it is so worth your and not it he he is so worth your time he is so worth your effort he is so worth your energy he is the perfect being perfect how could you not want to invest in perfection? So, um, before it gets too long, I came across a hymn that I've heard um, before and it just seemed to fit perfectly. It's what a friend we have in Jesus. You have a friend in Jesus. You don't have to be alone. Um, he knows you. He loves you. He's saying, come as you are come as you are. You were created to be known by and to know God. That is your purpose. To know and be known by God, Jesus Christ, your creator and your savior. That is why you exist. That is your purpose. That is your primary purpose. And once you know God, intimately there's the life makes sense life makes sense and there's joy and there's freedom and there's hope and um yeah that's your purpose to know jesus christ so i'm gonna read this hymn what a friend we have in jesus all our sins and griefs to bear what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. So Lord, I just pray for everyone watching this video right now, Jesus. I pray that they would come to you as they are. They would come to you with all their sin, with all their shame, with all their guilt, with all their heaviness, and they would come to you, Jesus, and give it to you, Lord. I pray that they would trade their heavy load for your yoke that is easy and your burden that is light, God. You are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If we confess our sins, Lord, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So God, I pray that everyone here uh, listening to this video would um, confess their sins to you, Jesus, all of them, the ones they've been hiding, the ones that they know that you've been tugging on their heart about, all their sins, God, those secret sins, those hidden sins, those things that no one knows about, God. I pray that they would confess to you. They would come to you and confess to you and receive your grace and receive your mercy, God. I pray that everyone who um, turns to other things and experiences this deep loneliness, God, I pray that they would turn to you and be filled with your love and your joy and your life, God. I pray that people wouldn't struggle with loneliness anymore God because you know them and they are fully known by you God I pray that people would enter into deeper intimacy with you and a greater love affair with you Jesus I ask all of this in your name amen okay I pray you guys have a blessed and beautiful day a day filled with God's beauty